Hello everyone, welcome to the first edition of my fan build review series. This is where I show off, review, and give feedback on builds that you all have sent me. I've actually gotten a lot of videos from you guys, so if you don't see yours in this one, don't worry. I will have more videos like this, and just because it didn't show up in this video doesn't mean I won't show it in another. I did have to cut out a good portion of each tour just to keep this video on the short side, but I will have the names of each channel listed at the top while showing their build, and also links in the description. So let's get into it. Alright, so the first one is done by Armando Gertrudes. Y you know, if I butcher your name, I'm sorry. Pronunciation is not my strong point. Anyways, Armando, I mean, that sounds good to me. This looks awesome. The title of his video is Red Dead Redemption 2 New Armadillo, so it sounds like he built a town based off of Red Dead Redemption. I'll keep that in mind as far as lore goes. And so far it looks great. I mean, I can't even tell what settlement you're at. Unless you use a mod like Conquest and just build at some random location. Or I could just be a moron and not recognize the settlement. Uh, but I love the look so far. It's very scrappy and western, which totally fits what you're going for. And it's the little details that I love, like that barn door that was off the hinges leaning against the barn. It really adds character and gives it that lived-in vibe. And my god, this music is perfect for the tour, which I've come to realize that it is an important part. I know the majority of my videos have some fast punk rock music during the tour, and you guys made me realize that it doesn't fit and it takes you out of the game, so I don't know if you have noticed, but I've stopped using that music. I love the structures in here so far. The only thing in this part, I probably would have put something in here, in this room, so it wasn't so empty and barren. But, you know, that could have been what you were going for, so this is just me outside looking in. Uh-oh, the crate is hovering. See it? Uh-huh. Trying to sneak that one past me. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, but, but seriously, it was hovering. Regardless, this is awesome. We're just walking through this western town. It really gives me that Westworld vibe if you guys watched that show. There's a coffin off to the left with someone in it. <laughs> I love, I love that. I love these little details. This is great. We got a nice little bank. I love how clean the signs are and really just the outside structures. Everything flows and is very well connected. I mean, it's perfect. We got nice little gel cells with a safe in the back. Um, with me, I, you know, I overly decorate, so I probably would have put more stuff on the desk and just kind of lying around, maybe on the walls a little bit, because you are using a lot of wood. So you have, you know, wood walls, wood doors, wood floors, wood desk, wood chairs. So adding in some little decorations here and there would have made it a little bit easier to look at because it is all, all wood. But again, Western, the feel that you have here, it still looks great. These are just very small critiques. And this vault door is awesome. I need to check out your mod list and see what you're using because I haven't seen some of these items. Another small thing that I want to point out, I think it would have looked a little better having concrete walls around this door and really in this whole safe just to make it look more secure and stable instead of having wood walls holding up this massive safe door. But again, I still think this whole thing looks great so don't take any of this personally, it's just my small little opinion. Next up is the jail house, or the sheriff's office, or both. I mean, you never know. I don't know why, but I love that chair right there next to the window. It's, it's perfect. And my man, hanging out, holding a cup of coffee, keeping an eye on these bitches. I get it. This looks great. I love the cabinet with the rifles mounted up top. There's ammo and alcohol down at the bottom. That's all you really need. Starting to question what's in that coffee mug now. Probably, certainly not coffee. I love the cells, the brick walls, they look great. And you got a piss bucket. I mean, respect. This is all very minimal and it goes very well with the aesthetic. And this guy, handcuffed and behind bars, like what the hell did he do? Keep your head up man, it'll get better. I mean if you get your shit together. I love this section, it's perfect. The setup is great, the decorations are great. You got the rifle up against the chair in case Billy Bob son of a bitch over here gets out of line. The whole setup is perfect, I wouldn't change it. Good, 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 good. I love this little shop right here. It's kind of tucked in the corner. You got enough decorations on the outside. The awning looks great. The setup, I mean, this whole thing, this looks great. On the inside, you got the counter and all the fish and whatever. All the stuff that you're selling, I mean, this is very well done. I might have put a few different things on the walls, maybe a sell sign or just something to kind of make it more like a shop. But other than that, I mean, this is perfect. I love the way that this was kind of tucked in the corner back here. 
I cut out the rest of the shops, but they are really cool, so definitely go to the link in the description to see everything. I just wanted to show this last part, the saloon, or salon, or whatever you want to call it, this bar area. So I mentioned a few times how there is a lot of wood, and I would have put in more decorations to add some contrast, but what he did here with all the lanterns and candles is a great alternative. Because yeah, there isn't a ton of decorations, but the lighting helps make it easier to look at, and it just kind of draws your eye into certain areas. Areas. So yeah, overall, well done with this. I mean, it's incredible. I think you did a great job. So let's hear it for Armando. Hooray! Yay! So next build is done by Fresna. I think I think Hello, I'm saying that right. Welcome right. To another Fallout 4 video. I am Fresna. Yep. Okay. The reason why I wanted to show this one is because it looks like something that I plan on doing very soon, which is a hunter's cabin in a random spot in the Commonwealth. This doesn't look like a settlement we have, and I'm pretty sure he mentions in the video that he used a mod like Conquest to build here. I really like the way this looks. It's very stable and actually looks like something that I would build. Like at the top up here, instead of using railings to go around the tree, he used construction barriers, which is a small detail but adds a lot of character. And this guard post is in the perfect place because it's facing this awesome view, which is what I do in a lot of my builds. I'll build a porch or a patio that has a really nice overlook. Ah, uh, just look at that view. See, that's, that's a very, very good setup. So he did a great job decorating this. There is a lot of clutter, but not too much, you know. It's enough to make sense that they scavenge all this stuff. And there's, there's a teddy bear with a stake going through the eye on the tool rack. That's perfect. Very Fallout-esque. Um, but yeah, very well done. The only thing that I would probably change is the shelf on the back wall. It looks good, but I would just put more junk on the shelves, which I know is a pain in the ass if you had to do that manually. So over here on the other structure, we have a nice little walkway that leads to a matching guard post that is, again, in the perfect place with some ammo and decorations off to the side. Very nice setup. And the last part is the living quarters. The decorations out here beside the door are perfect. You have the grill over here, and on the other side are boxes and things to carry the stuff you find while scavenging, or at least that's how I see it. And the inside is my favorite part of the whole build. Oh, what's up, baby? Don't let me bother you. I'm just judging your house right now. But he did such a good job decorating this because just like on the other side, it's filled up, but not too much, and everything is set up in the perfect position, like that TV next to the plants, and then this bookcase that acts as a divider between the rooms. I mean, that's a genius idea. I'm going to steal that. Um, but yeah, everything looks good. The only thing that kind of bothers me is that blue framed picture right there. It's just too much with the green and everything. But that's just me. That's just, you know, it still looks great. I still think he did a great job on this whole thing. Very well done, sir. Let's, let's give it up for Fresna. <laughs> I did cut a few things out, so check out the link in the description for the full video tour on his channel. Alright, so this next one is done by AXL Explosion or Axel Explosion, I don't know. Um, here's the entrance, nothing too special. Yes, it is. It is special, man. Don't say that. Looks great. But yeah, I really like this one a lot because he used the mod Conquest, just like everyone else that I've shown so far, to build on this highway. Ha! <laughs> I already told them, beat you to it. So yeah, by using that mod and building on a place like this, I can't really tell what all he placed down and what was already here. Except for that floating chemistry station right there, it's a big no-no, you need to fix it. Oh. Okay, yeah, okay. Good save. Good save. I mean, obviously you can tell that he built these structures, but we see a good bit of this in the game already, like gunner or raider camps all along these highways, and I think he did a good job making it look like something Bethesda did. A drug addict that reads a lot of comics, that's very, very specific. But yeah, the decorations look great, perfect, I wouldn't change a thing in just about every part of this. Even the structures are set up really cool. They are mixed up, different angles, and seem necessary, like they aren't just there for the hell of it. Like this part right here, I love setting up little chill spots like this, and he did it perfectly. You got a good mix of chairs, and then, you know, bottles and all this stuff, all the decorations on top of the tables, is a very, very good setup. So check out the main house. Good use of decorations on the outside. The inside is so well done. He really built around the space that he has up here just as I would picture Bethesda doing. The lighting is great because they wouldn't really have electricity up here. And you see he has a lot of items from the mod Creative Clutter that fits in so well with what he's going for. And I'm, I'm really starting to get jealous 
the more that we go through this build. So yeah, I'm going to start sounding like a broken record the more we go through this build. So I really don't have anything else to say as far as criticism goes. Fantastic job. Let's give it up for AXL Splosion. I'm going to step away and let you guys check out the rest of this build. I am going to cut out some parts, so just like the others, check out the link in the description for the full video tour. Alright, so this last one was done by Monster Barbell. This guy is a maniac. This build is incredible. I posted this on my Twitter a week or so ago and was very reluctant to show it on the video because you're totally going to lose respect for anything that I have built. Um, and I'm still kind of second guessing showing you guys this, but oh well, it's too late. Uh, I really don't have much to say about this build. It's one of the best I have seen. And I do want to do something like this soon. Uh, I just really need the time. Oh, and he did this on PS4, by the way. So keep that in mind as you're going through it. I'm really not going to say anything else. I'm just going to let you guys watch it and experience it. Job well done, man. This is, this is excellent.
Ah, oh, that clever bastard. I had to cut out a lot to keep my video short, so definitely, definitely go to the link in the description to see everything that he did. But alright, I'm going to end with a video that Darth Ghost sent me. It's not a settlement tour, but I had to show this off. I mean, it's Boba Fett made out of lights. Incredible job. I hope you guys liked this video, well done to all the builders, and thank you for sending me your videos. Everyone else that sent me stuff, you guys did a great job too, and I plan on featuring some more in my next video of this series. So definitely keep it coming. And one last thing, I'm thinking about doing a live stream of one of my builds on Twitch, so if you would be at all interested, let me know. Uh, I'm just trying to see if that's something you guys would like to watch. As always, thanks for watching, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and I will talk to you soon.